constrained to speak at this point. And I crave the indulgence of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency General Muhammadu Buhari, to make this statement because I've had opportunity to keep him aware of what I know is happening and the danger looming ahead. On many occasions in the past, I have not hesitated to point out lacuna in the action of the president and his government. But as far as the election issues that we are now facing are concerned, the president has proved beyond reasonable doubt that he will want to leave a legacy of free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. Until last Saturday night, February 25th, 2023, the good and noble plan and preparation for the elections seemed to be going well. For the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, a lot of money was spent to introduce bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS, and the server for immediate transmission of results from polling units. It is no secret that INEC officials at operational level have been allegedly compromised to make what should have worked not to work and to revert to manual transmission of results, which is manipulated and the results doctored. The chairman of IMEC may claim ignorance, but he cannot fold his hands and do nothing when he knows that election process have been corrupted, and most of the results that are brought out, uh, that are brought outside Beavers and Sava are not true reflection of the will of Nigerians who have made their individual choice. At this stage, we do not need wittingly or wittingly to set this country on fire with the greed, irresponsibility, and unpatriotic act of those who allegedly gave money to INEC officials for perversion and those who collected the blood money. Let me appeal to the chairman of INEC if his hands are clean, to save Nigeria from the looming danger and disaster which is just waiting to happen. If the chairman can postpone elections four days to the election four years ago, he can do everything to rectify the errors of the last two days. No beavers, no result to be acceptable. And no uploading through server, no result to be acceptable. Where beavers and servers have been manipulated or rendered inactive, such results must be declared void and inadmissible for election declaration. Chairman Einek, I have thought that you will use this wonderful opportunity to mend your reputation and character for posterity. Your Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, Tension is building up, and please 
let all elections that do not pass the credibility and transparency test be cancelled and be brought back with areas where elections were disrupted for next Saturday, March 4, 2023. And beavers and saver officials be changed to know which stations or polling units were manipulated, let a committee of INEC staff and representatives of the four major political parties with the chairman of Nigeria Bar Association look into what must be done to have each free elections next Saturday. Mr. President, may your plan and hope for leaving a legacy of free, fair, transparent, and credible election be realized. Mr. President, please don't let anybody say to you that it does not matter or it is the problem of INEC. On no account should you be seen as part of the collusion or compromise. When the die is cast, it will be your problem as the chief executive of this country and that of the nation. All right, then, former President Olusegun Obasanjo.